reason why these lilies are such a popular house plant with so many people is because they look so good when they're in full bloom with those big beautiful white flowers and dark green foliage. But the issue most people find, however, is that when they bring the plant home, the flowers die and then the plant starts to disappear frequently, causing people to get rid of the plant. So I'm on a mission to avoid this from happening. Hi Gems, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. I purchased this book from Amazon because I wanted to know more about the chemical gibberellic acid. Gibberellic acid is a natural product of an aged fungus. It changes plant growth and development. Interesting book, but not a how-to guide. If you're interested, I will leave a link in the description. This package contains 90% gibberellic acid. I purchased it from Amazon. Now the use of gibberellic acid is an industry secret. You ever wonder how come your peace lilies are beautiful with all those lovely white flowers when you first buy it from the store? It's because growers don't want us to know that they're feeding it with this chemical. The plants bloom making them more appealing to customers and this boosts up their sales. So this is the kit. Now the one that I bought did not come with instructions but it did come with a scoop. These kits are designed so that you don't have to do any math or calculations. All of that is done for you. I recommend buying a kit that has instructions so you can decide how many ppms you want to make at a given volume of water and they'll tell you how many scoops to use to your volume of water. It's real easy, anybody can do this. I'm going to show you how to make the hard work simple. Okay Gems, I will be showing you how to dissolve gibberellic acid. For that, you're going to need an organic solvent such as alcohol. Two different kinds of alcohol will work, but I recommend using ethanol which is basically the kind that you drink. If you can get a 70% pure ethanol or higher, that'll work. For this purpose, I'm using the Nature Alcohol. You could purchase it from Home Depot, but I purchased mine from Amazon. So you'll just need a little measuring container. I'm just using this shot glass. You'll need a syringe. I got mine from my husband, but you can purchase these on Amazon as well. A measuring cup, I recommend getting the four cup measuring cup, a spray bottle, some distilled water, but I'm using drinking water. Now for this, if you want to use rubbing alcohol, you can go ahead and use that, but it will require more work. So I recommend using denatured alcohol or just some regular ethanol. All right, so now we're ready to start mixing. So what we're going to do is take a scoop of the gibberellic acid using one of the scoops that come with our kit, but this will irritate your skin. So you want to go ahead and put on a pair of gloves. So you just add your gibberellic acid to your container. And you guys, a little bit of this goes a long way. One scoop will give you up to one liter. I'm going to use about two millimeters of the ethanol in my syringe. Just give it a light stirring here. You see it dissolving. You could probably use less alcohol, but I recommend experimenting to find out just the lowest amount you can use. Now get your volume of water that you need. I'm using two cups, and then you want to slowly pour your gibberellic acid into it. Then you want to stir it. And then what I'll do is, I'll do that to get a good rinse out. And now you can add the solution to a spray bottle. Now I'm about to spray my peace lily and you're supposed to apply once in 30 to 40 days from November onward. I noticed that Madonna needed some cleaning. She's still beautiful even though her blooms are gone. But if you look real close, the stems from the blooms that dried out is still there. So we're going to get rid of these because that can drain energy from the plant. You're doing the removing of spent blooms or stays from your peace lily. We want to get down as close to the base of the roots as you can. However, a lot of the blooms originate from the leaf. So it comes out right here. And most of these I was able to actually just pull out.
This is my other piece lily. His name is Bill. All of a sudden his blooms just came out. I didn't do anything to it. I just keep him by a window. I water him often. He doesn't need as much water as Madonna. But the leaves are looking shiny. He's looking nice and healthy. And yeah, he has little baby blooms. So cute. Aww. Now, Bandana, she used to have gorgeous blooms, while Bill, he had none. But I guess because he's sitting closer to a window. But also, that can lead to the leaves getting burned. So I think I need to back him up a little bit. Bill is looking dry, so I'm going to go ahead and give him some water. I'm also going to spray him with some gibberellic acid as well. And I had a little bit left, so I sprayed it on my pothos. I sprayed my last drop on my ZZ plant. Healthy Peace Lilies will normally flower twice a year, once in the spring and again in the autumn. So don't get frustrated when your plant is not flowering in the middle of the summer or the winter. Now this is how Madonna looked when I sprayed her. And then this is how she looks the next day. So I can already tell that the stuff is working. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, please don't forget to like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel. Bye Jen!